Hi folks, Matt here, 2E0KIA. I'm here to talk about amateur radio. I want to give you a brief introduction into what it's all about. Now, I've got a bit of a script, so I want to read from it. Amateur radio, it's a bit like a mobile phone, you know. You talk to people all around the world, don't it? But you don't get a phone bill. You can make friends all over the world with amateur radio, or just in the UK. You know, I've made friends with people in America, Australia, everywhere you can imagine. You know, you can talk to people, and the best thing about amateur radio is, even if you don't know their language, there's ways you can talk to them. For our, you know, we've got our own sort of lingo. You know, it, it's a little bit like CB. It's a bit more, bit more. We like to think of it as it's a bit more than CB. CB is another topic I'll bring up another time. And for those uh, CBers out there, um, two six Charlie Tango, eight six three two. I think that's my call sign anyway. So, you know, amateur radio. Uh, opens up a whole new world. There's so many different aspects you can you can do. Uh, Morse code, um, packet, uh, satellite, amateur satellites. You know you can talk to the satellites. The satellites will talk to people on the other side of the world. That's how you can make contacts. You can even talk to the astronauts in space. They're the ones that are there anyway. <laughs> And you know we've got uh, there's free licenses um, that you need to take. Uh, you got a foundation license, which is the entry level qualification. You got the intermediate license, that's the one I've got at the moment. And you've got the advanced license, that's the last one. And these aren't mandatory. Um, you can take them when you want, but you need to pass them in sequence uh, to pass, you know, to go on to the next level. So you can't just take the advanced. You got to take the foundation, intermediate, and then the advanced. So now, all you got to think about is passing the foundation license. Now, what I'd say is, uh, join a club if you can. You don't have to. You can. You can learn it all from this book, which I'll put in at the end of the video. It's called Foundation License Now by Alan Betts G0HIQ. And basically everything you need to know is in this book for you to pass your ham radio license. You know, you're not, you don't have to join a club, but it's strongly advised to, because they can put you on a course, and usually the courses are free. The only thing you've got to pay for is the exam, and the exams usually cost about um, twenty-seven fifty. I think they cost. But if you don't want to join a club, you can learn it all from the book, and then you need to attend an exam, which will usually be at the club anyway. Foundation license, what do you get? You get 10 watts, um, which is a lot, you know. You can work the world on 10 watts. You can still talk to people all over the world if band conditions are right. And also depending on what antennas you're using. What else can you do? You can work higher frequencies, ultra high frequencies, or very high frequencies. You know, it, it opens doors, having your ham radio license. Uh, it's a good hobby, you know, and it's uh, for me personally. Um, I do spend a lot of money on ham radio, but you don't have to. You can spend as little as 20 quid to thousands of pounds 
um, on equipment. You're not restricted to what you buy or what you have to get. I mean, a lot of you may have seen these uh, Baofeng radios. I've got a few of them. I've got a few here, to be honest. I mean, I've got this one. Uh, Baofeng UV5R. I think mean, now you can get them for 20 quid, which is nothing. I think the updated model is this one. Baofeng UV5X. Um, and this particular one you can receive uh, air air traffic on as well. Which these ones you couldn't, these ones you can. And for some reason you can even transmit on some of these some of the frequencies you're not supposed to transmit on. But you know, you pay for what you get. So you can spend twenty quid on them. Or you can buy a more upgraded, updated radio. This is a Yaesu VX7R. Yeah, uh, probably get it for about 150 to 200 pounds now. Um, these are waterproof, shockproof, and generally just, you know, better. Oh, I like to think so. It's my opinion. Uh, what else can you get? This is another similar radio. I if I can see that. This is the. Uh, The uh, Kenwood Dual Banda THF7. This can receive on HF as well, but transmits on 2 meter and 70 sems. You know, well drawer stuff. There's lots of different radios out there. You're not restricted to just one radio. Hey, so where was I? Uh, so I had all these questions planned out I probably already answered them but I said you know is it expensive to get into the raid into ham radio and the short answer is no it's not um, you know, do I need to know maths to pass the foundation license no you don't basically Maths, there's no maths in the practical in the uh, foundation license. Uh, it's more practical. You do a lot of practical subjects. You know everything you need to know about the foundation license is in the book that you buy for the course. You know, literally, I know people will say read the book, read the book, but if you don't read the book, you won't know the answers. Will I be given a call sign when I finish the exam and pass? Yes. More than likely, you'll be given an M6 call sign. It's usually an M6, and then you'll have three more letters after the M6. Depends what part of the country you're in. Um, Scotland, you might be um, M6, and then three letters after. Wales might be MW6 three letters after uh, and every different parts of the country and Ireland and Guernsey um, have different you know letters next to them um, what else can I add you know there's contests you can you can do in radio uh, they have something called DXing DXing is uh, making contact with as many different countries as possible um, and then you, you sort of competing with other, other people uh, in ham radio. So you're seeing how many countries you can get, get um, in touch with. Um, you know, there's lot, there's just, there's just lots of stuff involved in ham radio. But hopefully, I'll, I'll, you know, get more deeper into that um, in some more videos to come. So. All I can say for now is uh, please subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in some more videos to come and I'll be a bit more interesting next time. <laughs> yep.
This is 2E0 KIA, saying 7-3.